how are you guys doing today? I hope that you're having an absolutely lovely day. I really wanted to film an intro to this that had my face in it, but I'm running out of time. <laughs> so you guys just get my, my fingers today. Today, as you can see from the title, I have been wanting for quite some time to go through my single stash and try to dupe out some of the Charlotte Tilbury quads. They all call to me, um, she, definitely my vibe, like everything that she puts out is all my vibe, but I'm, I'm pretty much against spending $53 on four shadows, just oof, mm, no. I could see myself doing it if they went like 50% off or something, but in the meantime, I will look at them from afar and try to dupe them out in my stash. I actually have a feeling that I will be able to dupe the vibes of at least a couple of them. Um, there are a couple of problems to this, however, and my... <laughs> searching out swatches is that swatches are so different depending on the lighting that people took them in and the skin tone obviously and how heavy they swatch the product so the swatches that I'm gonna use to like go off of are swatches screenshots I actually took from Mel Thompson's videos so I'm gonna make sure and link her in the description box give credit where credit is due just know that if you have the quads, you know, you might be like, what, what is she trying to do? Just because, you know, I don't actually have it here in front of me, the quads, so I can't do it exactly. But you know, I'll just do as good as I can off of other people's swatches. So first I'm gonna show you what I'm working with. This is gonna be the little empty palette I put the um, singles in. This palette is where I keep my special, super sparkly shades, my topper shades. This palette is what my neutrals palette. It's my taupes and bronzes browns, grays, blacks, and creams. This palette, I recently got a whole bunch of new shades, and so in this one is where I'm keeping all of my new shades, ones I haven't tried yet. I don't like to put them in my collection until I have actually tried them, so this way I can make sure to um, have them separated, so I make sure and try these first. And then in here, this big one is the majority of my stash. So I have my purples and pinks, greens, um, yellows, oranges, and peaches. Once I start using these, however, I don't think they'll all fit in here. So I'm going to have to um, reorganize these at some point. That'll have to be another video for another time once I've used the rest of these. But in any case, let's get started. I do have my matcha here with me in case anybody was wondering what I'm drinking today. If you can hear the chattering birds, I do have the window open. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. It might hit 70 degrees out today. It's just a really, really beautiful, cool day. So the windows are open. Okay, so the very first palette I want to dupe, I'm gonna put a picture of it up on the screen. The screenshot was from Sephora. This is the classic Pillow Talk palette. Next, I'm gonna put up Mel's swatches. And I do think, you know, she swatched them pretty intensely because the other swatches I found were much more sheer. But at least this way, I should be able to have a good idea as to the shades. Okay, so looking at Mel's swatches here, I'm gonna start with the first one on the left, the kind of more icy pink toned shade. And so the, looking at that, I immediately think of a shade from here, I think of this shade. So this is, a, I think it's a Sydney Grace shade. Yes, Bailey's Bliss. So let's try this one first. Um, I feel like that one is actually gonna to be too icy and not pink enough. So let's try a different shade. Let's actually go into some of my newer shades because I think I just purchased a shade that might actually work for that. Let's see, this one right here. This is another Sydney Grace shade. This is the shade Dream Maker. Let's try this one. Whoops. There, I think that's closer. Yeah, that's a definite contender. I'm going to take that one out, set it aside. I think that might be as close as I will be able to get to that swatch. Okay, next let's move on to the second shade. And I feel like this one will be the most difficult because it was the most variable shade in all of the swatches I looked at. I might even put up a couple different pictures. Some of these were from blogs, um, just random ones I found online. In some pictures it looks more brownie pink and in others it's definitely more pink pink. So let's see, let's start with this one since I have this one open. This is another Sydney Gray shadow. This is the shade Peyton's Puppy and this is what I would call a pink, a brownie pink. So let's see if this looks anything remotely like that swatch. I'm struggling a little bit with the lighting so you guys can actually see. I've never done an overhead video before. This is interesting for sure. Hmm. I feel like it, mm, it's a little not quite pink enough. I'm going to take it out just in case I decide to use it. Let's look at this shade up here. I think this will be way too pink. 
or probably too purple. This is the shade Lilac Daydream. Yeah, probably gonna be too purple. Definitely gonna be too purple. <laughs> yeah, not quite right. Okay, let's go back to my other palette. I'm gonna quick put that one shade we picked right there. Hmm, <laughs> let's try this one. Again, I don't think it'll be brown enough. Or maybe, mm, it's a little bit too cool toned, I think, to perfectly match it, but I'm gonna pull it out. Let's see, let's try this one. This one just might be too mauve in general for that shade. Mm, it's a pretty shade, but yeah, I'm not sure it exactly is what I'm looking for. I'm still gonna pull it out though, just because it's, I don't know, it's getting there. Let's try this one. I think this is, might be a bit of potted Morphe shade. Yeah, this is from the Morphe Jaclyn Bling Boss palette. This is the shade Hush Hush. Again, it might be a little too cool toned, not really enough brown. Yeah, I have a lot of those types of shades because I like them. <laughs> Setting that aside as well. Hair in my palette. Sorry if you've been staring at that the whole time. Let's try this one too. Mm -hmm. That one might be the winner. I think so. It's so this one and Peyton's Puppy, the one we originally did, this one. <laughs> the shade I'm going for is somewhere in between those two, but I think I'm gonna pull this one. This is Makeup Geek Prim and Proper. So we'll put that one right there. Put the rest of these back before I completely lose any semblance of order here. Okay, now for the next shade. Now, from what I've heard, that shade is more of like a topper shade, but you know, I've never swatched it. I don't know what people mean, because when I look at the pictures, it looks like it has you no know, base pigment in it, so I don't know if, what exactly they're talking about, if it's just a sparkly shade or not. I don't know, I'm just gonna go off the swatch as well as I can. So I immediately think of, you know, this row right here. Let's start with that one right there. So this is the shade Blondie, I believe. Yep, Blondie from Sydney Grace. Oops, I forgot to wipe off those other swatches. Oh, I think that, I think that is super, super close to how it looks in Mel's swatch. I do realize, however, this is more of a metallic and not so much of a glittery topper type shade. I'm definitely gonna pull that out though. That might end up being the one I go with. Okay, let's try this one. I think this might be a Glam Shop shadow. And it is that shade. <laughs> it's in Polish, so I'm not sure what it translates to. Ooh, that's another really nice one. I feel like uh, in comparison to the swatch I'm looking at, however, this one has a bit too much pink in it. Let's do this one. Oh, that's really nice as well. Hmm, we'll pull that out. That is Sydney Grace Peace. Let's try this one. This is Turtle Doves from Sydney Grace. Another one that looks really good. Hmm. Over here I have some glittery shades. Let's try this one. This one is this shade <laughs> from Glam Shop. Beautiful, but I think it doesn't have quite enough pink in it. That's more neutral, I think, than I'm looking for. Even though these shades are not like glittery topper shades, they are definitely like the tone and the vibe that I'm going for. It's just a matter of choosing one that is closest to the swatch I have in front of me. Oh, it is really, really hard to tell. I'm leaning towards one of these two. I don't know, this one as well. I really think any of those three <laughs> would do it, so I'm just going to pick one. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pick Peace, just because it has a little bit more of a taupey undertone to it, which I think um, the original palette might have in it, so that is going in next. Right there. Okay, next I think I need to go to my neutrals palette because we're going to be doing that rich brown. Okay, so the color that, it, it's definitely more of a rich brown and it leaning more, I don't know, neutral to warm versus cool. So I have some more cool shades here that wouldn't work. My eye immediately goes to this one. Let's try that one first. Yeah, that just might be the winner. I don't think it's, Definitely doesn't have enough red in it, I think, for that brown, but we'll pull it out. Let's try this one. Yeah, a little too neutral. Oh, this one. 
That one definitely has more red in it, but I feel like it's not chocolatey enough. It's almost too warm. This first one that I pulled out is Sydney Grace Peach Fuzz. And I'm thinking, even though it's not exact, that might be my best option. So here we have my little Pillow Talk quad. <laughs> So let's swatch it out, see how it looks. So first we have Sydney Grace Dream Maker. Makeup Geeks Prim and Proper. I think that's what that's called. I'll look here in a second. Sydney Grace Peace. Oh, the shade is always so impressive. And then Sydney Grace Peach Fuzz. I think it do definitely dupes the vibes. Again, this is definitely more of a straight up metallic versus a glittery topper shade. But as you guys saw, I had a number of different shades I could have put here. <laughs> I'm really drawn to that type of shade. I think I got the vibe of it though. What do you guys think? If you have the palette, let me know down below. Did I get even remotely close? Okay, now let's try to dupe the Exaggerize palette. I'll put the picture up of what it looks like on Sephora and then Mel Thompson's swatches as well. So for this one, the first shade is described as a ivory cream. So for that, I think I'm gonna go straight to my neutrals. I have some white shades here that might work out. So let's see, let's start this one first. The other one's a little more cool tone. I don't know if you can tell looking at them, but that one's more cool. That looks pretty much like the swatch. I think we can move on and that will be my, my choice. This is Stardust from Makeup Geek. The next shade is described as a bit of a rose gold, which I don't know, looking at the swatch that I'm looking at, it just looks, I don't know, kind of bronzy. <laughs> so actually I might just stick with this palette here for a second. Let's try this big bronze shade. This is actually from Naked Cosmetics. This is a pressed pigment in the shade Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. It might be a little too bronzy, but I feel like it's actually pretty close. I'm gonna pull it out in case I decide to use it. This shade is more of a glittery topper, so that really won't work in that spot. Try this one up here from Davina. Whoa, yeah, I think that one is too cool toned for that shade. Let's go in here. They did describe it as a rose gold. So this is like one of my rose gold shades. This is the shade Moscato from JD Glow. Let's try this one oh, after I wipe off my fingers, of course. Yeah, that's more of a rose gold. I don't know if it not actually looks much like the swatch I'm looking at, but I'll pull it out anyway. Let's see, this shade, probably too pink. Yeah, the shade Blondie. Let's try this one. So this is a Glam Shop shadow. Hmm. I feel like this one isn't showing up as well on camera for some reason. I feel it's actually kind of closer to the tone I'm going for. Perhaps just not quite right. I'm still gonna pull it out in case I decide to use it. This is another Glam Shop. Oh yeah, that's right. I think we swatched this one before and it was... Yeah, for what I'm going for, it's just a little too rose gold. These actually look pretty similar. Let's see, let's try some of my newer shadows, see if I can find one. Let's try this one. I think we had swatched this one before. <laughs> we'll swatch it again. This shade from Glam Shop. There, I think that's as close as we're gonna get. That's the winner. I'm not sure I would call that rose gold, but <laughs> it looks most like the swatch I found. Okay, next up, I need to find a, looks like it has more of a dark brown base, but still a shimmer. Let's start over here. I think this will be way too cool toned, but we'll try anyway. Oh, it's so pretty. I think that's the shade Tierra from Sydney Grace. Yeah, too cool toned. Mm, that one is too. That's the shade Somber. If I turn my arm a certain way though, you can see a little bit more of the undertone. It is more of a brown, taupey undertone, but yeah, just a little bit too cool. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna grab the shade that I actually put in that other quad. <laughs> the shade piece from Sydney Grace. Let's just check and see. <laughs> that is probably the one I would choose for that spot. Still not quite exact, but that's probably the one I would pick. And since it was so close in the other quads, let me see, I'm gonna choose this one for this quad and choose the shade Turtle Doves for the uh, other quads since it was so close between those shades. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Okay, lastly, we need again a rich reddish brown matte, <laughs> purpley brown matte. Swatching these like, like we did last time, they're just not quite white the right so i'm gonna go into my more mauve shades and see if i can find something that's closer first of all with my newer shades let's try this one uh 
Yeah, that's too cool toned. How about this one? Ah, uh, that could be a contender. I still think it's too purpley, but I'll pull it. Okay, let's check in here. Let's try this one. Even though it doesn't have a whole lot of brown in it like the swatch shows, I feel like it might be in the right family. Mm, yeah. You could definitely tell from my curated selection that I have way more <laughs> interest in cool tones than warm tones. So I have kind of a hard time finding those types of shades in my singles. And I really don't want to reach into my palettes. So I'm just gonna, you know, go with what I have. And looking again at the picture of the palette versus the swatches, this shade here looks pretty close, which was this one. It's a little bit broken, but this is a depotted essence shadow from the Salute Paris palette. I think I'm gonna use this one. All right, so this is my Exaggerize palette. Okay, let's quick swatch out my little quads and see what we think. Okay, let's do this little pillow talk one first. And my arm is, is a little bit wet from just wiping off all those swatches. All right, so there's my little pillow talk quad. I'm actually pretty happy with that. The only thing is this is more metallic instead of a topper. And I just realized I didn't even go into my little palette of toppers. I feel like this might be a contender. Let's quick swatch it. This is from Glam Shop. This is that jade. Oh yeah, it's so beautiful. And see how it's definitely more of a topper. It doesn't have much base pigment to it. So I don't know, if I had one actually here to compare to, I might go with more of a topper shade like this, but all of the swatches I'm looking at, it looks like there's base pigment in those swatches. So I think I'm gonna stick with what I have. Okay, so that was little pillow talk. What do you guys think? <laughs> Are they even remotely close? I feel like they're close to the swatches I found, but again, swatches online versus the real thing in front of me. You know, it's one thing. <laughs> But I have to thank Mel Thompson for taking such good pictures. Again, her videos will be linked down below to reviews of these actual palettes that I'm trying to do. But yeah, just looking at these, yeah, those are palettes I would enjoy. <laughs> I love these shadows. I don't know if I said, let me quick again. This one was Stardust from Makeup Geek. This shade from Glam Shop. Peace from Sydney Grace. And a depotted Essence shade from the Salute Paris palette. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Just swatching, playing around with my makeup. It's one of the most fun things to do. And holy, and, and honestly, one of the reasons why I even have a single collection. I have it's this thing where I see a palette, I really want it, but you know, I don't want a hundred palettes in my life. That's just, it's a bit much. So I love using my singles to at least try and dupe the vibes of something to show myself that I have something similar already. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.